This game is legitimately Pal World with waifus. Or Pokemon with waifus, depending on how you want, uh, which way you want to go. But yeah, you basically are taming creatures to a certain extent, raising them, whatever you want to call it. And then there's going to have the gacha feature of a lot of waifus. I believe there are going to be some male characters that are playable as well. I think it will be shown here. So yeah, this is this is basically this is basically going to be Pal World with waifus minus guns and other weapons instead. And I'm sold. I'm super, super sold on it. And I'm probably in the next 12 or so minutes, I'm gonna be sold even more. Oh boy. Uh, that being said, shall we start? Wait, is this gonna show the trailer again? Oh no, this is the end of the trailer. Oh, nice. I, oh, no subtitles. No sub, okay, no subtitles a little worries me ever so slightly, but whatever. We're here for the gameplay anyways. Yeah, we already know there's mounts. Um, this is this is probably being played on PC what it looks like, but I, I know it's confirmed on Android devices I'm, pre um, I'm pretty sure But this is on PC. I guess they really want to show like the best graphics you can switch character. Hello Yeah, really got to showcase that <laughs> Oh dear, I believe this is an in-game This is in-game so you can have a party of four the pet follows you. That thing's huge. That cabbage chicken is huge. Um, you can interact with the environment. She like broke that bush earlier, and you can send it to attack. Cute. That is that is a lot. That that amount of material is a heck of a lot more generous than um the other game I play. Dang. Dang. That's cool. Um, yep, yeah, I'm sold. Now, um, I don't think we should really judge the UI yet because I'm pretty sure this is like early footage. It is looking very, very plain um, on the UI side of things. Like these numbers, it doesn't look all that interesting. I don't particularly, particularly care about how the UI look as long as I can read it. And I can read it, although I do feel like it could probably do better. For people that do care about how the UI looks. Because right now, this looks pretty plain. That looked like a Lilith, but... Or Lilith... Well, what's that Pokemon called? Oh, hello! Hello? That is so quick! What? Holy smokes! Also, there was a fire creature there. This gameplay is hilariously fast. And music's good too. Okay, wait. Okay, that was a burst. But, okay, we, we should probably point out that once we start, there was a moment where we started the bell and it said bell start. And then count. Okay, we, we really need to break this down. It looks like there's counters. Strikes as well, so it's not just so it looks like there there's gonna be some like combo wombo type of stuff from here on the top left corner as we can see to rack up damage. There's counters which probably boost damage to a certain extent. And we're seeing a lot of numbers fly on screen and their HP is not going down fast, which means that a lot of these enemies, and this was like a pack of wolves, so definitely not like a hard boss, I would say, are um pretty spongy. Which is crazy. And there's another thing. The AoE strikes though is crazy. Wind, ice. Oh, um, another thing to point out is that um, similarly to Zelda Zone Zero, um, you can have multiple characters on the field at the same time to finish their combos as you switch out. Uh, I believe this is also this, uh, the same thing with... Um, Oh my gosh, why am I blanking out on that game? Why am I blanking out on the name of the game? Um, Weathering Waves. Weathering Waves uh, you, does the same thing as well. As you can see, there's two characters on field trying to finish their combo bit when you switch out. So I like that. That's already good. And then as you can see here, the reason why they have a battle start is because there's actually a field 
on how, I guess, wide the arena is. So you're limited with space. I don't know if this is like a, a wall that you can't pass through. Or if you leave, the battle just ends and you restart your combos and uh, the enemies gain, regain their HP. That's the only thing we don't know yet. It was cool. And then we have our first look of a burst. Two bursts. That looked nice. That looked nice. That looked really nice. There is so much happening on screen. I don't know if the chicken di thing was actually helping. And that was... I was... We can do those combos at like level two? Are you kidding me? They just leveled up to level four and you were already going nuts with that. Uh, actually, another thing to note is that each character has a pet paired with them as well. That are That is also a higher level than them, which is interesting. And it looks like they also gain experience as well, as you can see with the 90 over here. Um, wow. I... Color me impressed. If this is like early game footage... If this is like early game and you can already do combos like that, I'm kind of sold already. That looks like to me. Uh, hello? I'm sold on the archer. She looks like she has a pet fairy. Ooh. Hello? Dual wielding? I'm sold. Is that your Kibo? Your Kibo's a little pork thing? That's whole cute. Wait, hold up. These three markers, are these their rarity? Is this only a three star? How are, how is this mommy a three star? Hello? That's crazy. How many characters are going to show? I want her. I, I want this. This is what I want. Damn. Ooh. Oh, it's a Reftalia character. Was she wearing a different outfit than on than from the trailer? Hello? Well, they definitely got their jiggle physics down, that's for sure. Holy smokes. You're sold on the game now? What 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 sold you? What exact which which character sold you? <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Jack, which character sold you? <laughs> the fox mommy with the umbrella? Let's go! I'm actually... Wait, where are you? No, not you. I do kind of want her because of Reftalia. Her. She's, um... What's, uh, what is that anime where she, she looks a, a lot like a character from the main character from, what's that Studio Trigger anime that uh, that's, has the weird clothes things? Yeah, I know. Fox Mommy, I'm sold, as well as Tan Winged Girl. Kill a kill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A hundred percent. She's from Kill a Kill. Okay, party outfits. That fire creature was cool. Wait. E and F ranks? Okay, so it looks like the creatures go all the way down to F rank. I'm assuming F is the worst. Maybe, wait, E, F. And then E is the second worst? Yeah, E has more color. The F is grayed out, so I'm assuming that's the worst rank. Considering that this bear... Is F rank? Oh, wait, no. We can see an example right over here. These two wolves? Oh, they look slightly different. Um, hmm. Um, I'm wondering if these two wolves are, like, the same species, but because they're different ranks, they look slightly different? And that the E is better? I'm, hmm. I wonder, I wonder how that breaks down. I mean, this bear doesn't look like it would, design-wise, doesn't look like it would be an F rank. 
to be honest. Also, the ah, oh. oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's a good example. Here's a good example of all these green-haired things. F F E. Then there's another E, but with a different hairstyle. I wonder what the hairstyle means. Is this like a difference between gender, or are they actually like different creatures, just same race? I don't know. I don't know. So many cute creatures, and you can like tame them all. Oh, this thing's cute. Wait. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call it this little guy over here that they showed first evolves into this thing and this thing evolves into that thing. I don't know. I don't know. That just that just makes sense to me. That just makes sense to me. That thing looks cute too. Are these the same as the mounts or the mounts are like a separate thing is the other thing I want to know. Okay, we're gonna see gameplay of other one other, other characters. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see it. I really hope we get to see the tanned one too. Considering she flies, I wonder how that gameplay works. That's a jump. How do you know which creature to use on what? Oh, actually, that made that makes a lot of sense. Wait, hold hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Are these your different mounts that you can call upon? So you have the wolf, some flying ones, and maybe a horse over here that's maybe faster, and then this brown one maybe has a different uh field ability that you can use as a mount. I'm it does say mount. It literally says mount in the center over here. So these are all mounts that you have an option. So you can have multiple mounts and you can call upon different ones at different times. We can already see that beside the wolf that uh, the person selects later is that we already have we already have an indication of which one we've already had selected. Over here with the little um, human little figure there. Okay. Okay. I'm already sold on the world. We're gonna see gameplay of this one. <laughs> okay, wait. There's more combo related stuff over here. Kin's attack? What is that? And there seems to be like a breaking feature, which makes them vulnerable. Okay, this is very combo heavy, which I'm very, very into. Very, very into. Something that Genshin Impact has been lacking and what I've been like craving for in a game. Okay, I think I figured out what Kin's attack is. It's a combo attack with your Kibo. I don't know why it's called Kin's attack, but as we can see here, if we... Uh, should I slow it down? Yeah, let's slow it down. I'll slow it down to 0.5. So, we activate the Kin's attack. I don't know how it gets activated. Because there's... I mean, we have a button to use our um, Kibo to attack, I guess, right over here with the Q button. But then, as we can see, the Kin's attack just really looks like your character and the Kibo attacking at the same time. I don't know if it does bonus damage or anything, but it's right there. It definitely makes the gameplay a little bit more meaty. Which I'm super into. Also, what weapon is she using? What is that weapon? Whoa! 
What is that weapon? She using like a ring? Okay, yeah, so every time you do a battle, it kind of just clears the, the the map of other creatures and you're just focusing on um, battling what you uh, at, what are you're attacking and then once the bell ends then the rest appear okay that makes it so that you don't get like overwhelmed by a bunch of enemies especially early game and then it also probably prevents um lag issues that way as well so that's probably a smart move on their part Wait, she has a roll? That's so cute! Also, wait, do you get- Is that an egg? You can raise eggs, too? Okay, the environment destruction- Okay, she's hilarious. She's hilarious. I might want her just for the gameplay. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Okay. Wait, do you are you able to leave some of your pets in there to mine? This is a lot like Pal World. This is a lot like Pal World. Wait, what's that? Another egg? Okay. I guess there's gonna be lots of, like, raising and breathing in this game. Hey, what else? Show us a flying mount. Please? Please? Flying mount, please? Let's go! Is that our base? Do we actually have a base? Or is that like an actual town? Flying is an okay speed. But it's definitely faster than walking. I don't like how we're ignoring a bunch of treasure chests, but I'll I'll forgive the person. I will say the environments look very alive. There are just so many like creatures just roaming the lands, which is a really good thing. Are we gonna steal eggs? We're are we legitimately just stealing a bunch of eggs? Okay. Fair. Oh, there we go. We can speed up too. I don't see a stamina bar though. That's the one thing. This world must be huge! Is that the horse? Oh, it's the Pegasus. Kind of. Okay, this is a boss fight. Right? This is the boss fight. Yo, it actually, like, dan- Oh, it did the wink. God damn it. Wait, how big is she? Okay, um... Who was the one that made the comment yesterday about simping for this thing? <laughs> they're, they are an okay height for, to simp. <laughs> Holy smokes. There's rumors that this game is actually coming out this year too, and um, I, you know what? There's enough 
There it looks like there's enough that this could actually be true. Break? Oh, we can break the bosses too. Oh, it's crying when it's down. So much damage. Yeah, this is definitely more combo focused, and I don't see like any like. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. Actually, that's another boss. Okay, I'm seeing debuffs right under the HP bar of the enemy. Um, I didn't notice this earlier, but it looks like the break has a time uh, bar as well for how long the break will last. I think at least. I could be wrong. I was surprised this creature could freeze you, and it looks like they gave it an ice element despite its color palette. Interesting. That could really fool me. Down the line. We did a nice counter. Nice. Ooh, archer gameplay. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, this character. Oh cool. Whoa. Also that HP is going down really slowly. This is gonna be like a actual like fight. Yes, her! Let's go! Oh, okay, I want her. I uh, damn, can we give more good oh farming? Oh, this is legitimately pal world. Okay, this is the part of the game I'm less enthusiastic about. And this could like make it or break it for me. But I mean, the boss fighting though. The boss fighting looks so good. I might, I might have to play it regardless. Oh, this is so much like Pal World. Okay, I'm assuming this is your base, and you basically use these creatures as your slaves to do manual labor as well. Well. How Pokemon with guns couldn't convince me to play, but maybe uh, Pokemon with waifus <laughs> is. God damn. Okay, I like how this is a gameplay footage. Or gameplay video, and they really showcase the gameplay, and like the gameplay that's going to attract a lot of people like me, and they really put like such a small amount of time on the farming. Uh, which I kind of appreciate because I would have I would have not appreciated if this the if this farming part was like the main focus. I mean, they could do another video showcasing that in more detail just to see like what the uh, what the casual farming aspects of the game is because I'm sure that aspect of the game will also attract people. But here they showed us fighting and Pokemon monster collecting, which is like. That's checking things off for me, because this game, this game, I tell ya, this game is going to hook me so hard right right now it is. Actually, it already is. What am I talking about? Um, they showcased, I don't think they showed any male characters. I mean, as they're, they're, they're the same characters for, uh, sorry, they're the same developers as Azure Lane. And Azure Lane only has waifus, so there's that. Oh, the wait, 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 wait. No, oh, that's the Tango. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go through. Let me see if I see any people on the left that's a male character. I think that's the tan. Wait, the next one, the tan girl. Yeah, that's the tan girl. My goodness, holy smokes! Yes, please. Hell's yes. Her and her are chef kisses for me. There are others too. Yeah, I don't think they there's any male characters. I think this is going to be like a waifu only. Sorry, kids. Sorry, kids. Waifus only, it looks like. I still think they can attract an audience that aren't into waifus just because of the creature collecting. I'm sold. I'm sold. 100%. I'm sold. When's this game coming out? Let me know. Come on, I need to know. Give me this game. Give me this game right now. Thank you very much.